Yo, what is going on children of the vault and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. What I have for you guys today is our first ever installment of the new series of legendary weapons reviews. Not only weapons, items, shields, anything that we can get our hands on. We will also be including other rarities if they are decent or fun to use or anything of that sort. And what, how we're going to do this is we're going to look at them, how beautiful they look look at their stats and then look at how they perform and we're going to combine all that to come out with the rating the rating system is going to be as follows one useless don't even touch it not even fun to use nothing two i mean it's still bad but it looks cool or it has a fun effect or whatever three it's decent it's all right it's it's useful four is going to be very very good and five will be okay it's insane free nerf Lyuta insane so that's how we're gonna work around this but anyways uh let's get right into it for the first weapon that we are going to be reviewing on the channel is the storm this is a this weapon has an increased chance to drop from katagawa if you don't know where he is you want to head over to promethea and atlas hq and he should be all the way up here in this little square. So basically you spawn in, you make your way into the building, you go up the elevator, you end up here, and you go all the way over here, and then you drop down into this little pit. So that's where you're gonna find him, and that's where you're gonna have the highest chance of getting this weapon. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it, and it's actually very, very eye appealing. It's appealing to the eye, it looks beautiful, reminds me of the Brainstormer. And just by looking at the camel that it already has with it, you can already tell that this weapon is going to be insane against shields at least that's my take on it from just looking at it if this were just about how good the weapon looks this definitely gets a five out of five the red text reads tut tut it looks like rain it has 250 splash damage it consumes two ammo as a weapon zoom and i have an anointed version which we're not going to talk about the damage is okay i mean it's not a jacob so you don't expect such high damage so this is actually pretty good for malawan or a more elemental the accuracy is expected from a sniper handling is okay reload time is actually eh, it's all right it's 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 good for a sniper rifle for sure the fire rate is is all right as well it is a malawan you do have to charge it and the magazine size is six so for the stats, I would give it around a three. I mean, it's okay. It's not like the best stats in the world. So let's just go ahead and give this weapon a test. Let's look at our modifiers here. Minus 20% damage with all guns. Okay, enemies take 50% less from shock damage. So we're going to go and re-roll that because this is not going to be a very accurate test. There we go. We got um, some, some buff for sniper rifle. 50% more damage with our sniper rifles. So let's go ahead and go in there with the storm we're gonna be fighting gigamine for this one he does have blue shield so let's give it a test okay okay the effect is actually insane i love that effect it's a storm so it creates these orbs i'm out of ammo okay we're back uh luckily these little bathroom stalls what are they the first time i saw them i thought they were little bathroom stalls Anyway, uh, they happen to have a lot of sniper ammo, so let's get back into this guy. And that's all I took with one shot. That's actually not that good. But then again, this is a boss. And I like the effect a lot. Only complaint I have about it is the fact that the actual orbs are stationary. Yeah, they are stationary, so they don't follow the targets. So if you get some crazy moving targets, this is probably not going to be as effective. This guy's moving around quite a bit. I will say though, even though the weapon's not the best, this weapon's actually really fun to use. I'm already liking it. This is definitely going to be good for crowd control against a bunch of little enemies. Not the best weapon, but definitely fun to use. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. All right, let's give it a let's give it a shot against a single little enemy, and his shield is already gone by shooting the floor. I didn't even hit, hit him directly, and his shield is already gone. Okay, let's just look action skill. And let's go ahead and hit this hit this other guy. Okay. Non-direct hit, by the way. 
and his shield is gone. Okay, that is actually very good. I assume against badasses, I could probably rip through half of the shield with just the shot itself. And then the rest is going to cam come from the actual orbs. It's actually very dis decent in that sense. So it's not great against um, high level enemies like this guy right here. And e even with saying that, it's still tearing through shield pretty fast. Okay, let's take let's test this against the little mob here. So we're gonna use it against this guy right here, and and see how it does. Okay, okay, this weapon is a lot of fun to use already. Awesome, awesome. The only thing is, I like I said, the stationary orbs. But whenever you're mobbing, you're gonna be running into multiple enemies. So really, all those orbs should be targeting someone easy against little enemies and also tearing through badass shields obviously um i mean we could test it against flesh but we shouldn't expect too much yeah as you can see that's not doing anything but this weapon is not meant for that you know it is a shock damage weapon and we had to use it accordingly so yeah guys uh that's it uh for the actual power and usefulness of that i would actually give it a four so overall rating in my opinion I would give it a 4. It's a good weapon to have. If you want to use it yourself, use it. It's not the best. Again, it's not going to be your Layuda. It's not going to do any of that crazy damage. It's not going to be your hex grenades with shock damage and just burn through everyone's shield. It is its own thing, and it's actually very fun to use. I do have an anointment, though, which is probably going to make it very useful for Amara. But uh, anyways, that is it. We gave it a 4 out of 5. Very good weapon not the best and it is extremely fun to use anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video this is my first one so i know i'm probably jumping the gun here and there i'm still testing the waters as to what i want to include in this type of video but if you guys have any feedback for me let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this series i understand a lot of these weapons you guys have already seen but then again you got to understand borderlands 3 always has new players coming in so we just got to you just got to show them the way man you never know we might find a hidden gem within these videos so but yeah I'm really excited for the future of the series and I hope you guys enjoy it cuz I really want to continue it anyways guys that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one